Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here, and I just wanted to share with you a product that I came across that I think is going to solve a problem here on my farm. Backstory. I've had a love-hate relationship with jeans. Over here is a pile of jeans that I would say in the last two years have failed me, and I want to show you the most common issues of why these jeans failed me. So this stack right here, these are Lee jeans and the uh, crotch ripped out. Okay, there's one for the crotch ripped out. These are Real King brand jeans and the crotch ripped out. That's two. Here are Levi Strauss jeans and the crotch ripped out. So on a farm, you end up doing a lot of moving around and um, climbing over fences and other stuff and so you need that flexibility. Here are Lee Premium Select. Let's see how premium they are. The crotch ripped out of these jeans. And I mean, the rest of the jeans are fine. Uh, the uh, minimal wear and stuff. Because the crotch ripped out. Here we have Lee Modern Series Straight Leg. And the crotch ripped out. So that's one, two, three, four, five pairs of jeans that the crotch has ripped out. Now those estimate between $20 and $50 uh, for each pair. Now let's look at this pile. This pile, um, what ended up being wrong with this? Oh, wait. Yeah, so this one is minor, uh, but the pocket uh, was starting to rip on that corner. So that, 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 that's minor, that's, that's, that one's not too bad. Uh, this is Rural King branded jeans. And you see a problem here? What started out as a minor issue ended up just ripping. Just like, so frustrating. Now this is a pair that I just wore and wore and wore. And as you can see, the material starts wearing out. And when the, wear, when the material starts wearing out, it creates these little holes in the knees. And then sometimes if you have the hole in the knee, then when you put your pants on, your foot hits that, makes the hole bigger. And then here the pocket wore out, and these are Claiborne. Um, I think they're a JCPenney brand. Um, so, as you can see, I've been very frustrated with how many genes have failed. And majority of the issue has been the crotch is ripped out because I need that flexibility. So here comes the solution. I came across a company called True Work. Now they have an E instead of an O on work. Um, probably for the uh, catchy uh, to stand out. But um, here's a pair of brand new, now these are the T2 uh, True Work pants. Now they're a synthetic material and they are made in Bangladesh, but uh, let me just go over a few of the features that I really like about it. Um, so, first of all, the deal that they were having was buy two, get one 30% off, and so my thought was I could get two pairs of jeans, or uh, two pairs of true work pants, and that could get me through an entire week. Um, okay, so I went this last weekend to a guy's, uh, guy's weekend where we had a potato gun and 
rode some dirt bikes and other stuff. So I was able to put uh, the pair that I'm currently wearing uh, to the test. They come in uh, various colors. Um, but first of all, the material is is uh, a synthetic. Let, let me see exactly what uh, type of blend it is. And it is 50% nylon, 40% polyester, 10% spandex. So they are they are kind of stretchy. They are water resistant. And they're tear resistant. But for my predicament, the best feature that they have is right here. A crotch gusset. This allows for you to have four-way flex. So you can easily bend down, get uh, kneel down, move, just free flowing. Um, I would say the only downside with these pants is when they rub together, it gives that sound. So they are a little noisy. Um, they have double buttons because the, the saying goes, two is one, one is none. So if you only have one here and one of these pops off and breaks, you're out of luck. You'll have to put a new one on. So here they have two of them. Right here, uh, so they have a very, very heavy duty sewn belt uh, loops. And then right here, they have two little loops. I'm assuming it's for uh, putting some keys on there. Like let's say you have like that extender thing. You could just put it right there, use your keys, and then it zips back there. Um, the pockets are nice size. So you have uh, two front pockets. And then right here is a little pocket that's not too deep, but it zips. And uh, let's see if it's big enough to put a cell phone in sideways. Let's see. Okay, so it's not big enough to put a cell phone in there, uh, but there's a cell phone pocket later. Uh, a good use for this pocket is um, putting in uh, some money or some change that you don't want to lose or um, any valuables as you're trekking through the woods. Um, then here on the side, this is the pocket for the uh, cell phone. So slides right in there, keeps it secure. Um, and the other benefit too is this pocket is sewn on the outside of the pants. So let me unzip this and show you what I'm talking about. So the side of the pants is right in here and this pocket is added onto the side of it. So you don't have a, a pocket mesh that's like slamming against your legs and stuff. Um, yeah, so this is a nice uh, zippable pocket here and that's for the right leg. On the back, they have, um, let's see, they only have a right back pocket. Um, one thing I suggested to them on Facebook is that they have a right-handed and a left-handed uh, pants uh, when they go to redesign it. Uh, Cause I think that that would be a, a nice trendsetter cause really I only use one pocket um, on the back and it's typically my right. Now, the other nice thing with how this pocket sits in here so this pocket does have a pouch that's on the inside, but when I put my wallet in, it allows it to tuck it up along the side of my leg uh, so I'm not sitting on my wallet, which uh, can cause some back pain. It has um, a really big uh, center back belt loop, and then it has this little clip for hanging it up to dry. Uh, with this material, it dries way quicker. Uh, I wore one pair the entire weekend and uh, they seem to stay very fresh and uh, repelled uh, any, any major moisture. And when I would walk through thickets or thorns, I didn't have to worry about it snagging on it. Um, I felt very confident with uh, the pants. Um, let's see. 
Now this pocket is on the left hand side and this is like your typical cargo pocket. Um, but it does have a loop on here if uh, you need to put keys or attach uh, something, um, something to it. And then there is this little round Velcro piece. And the only thing I can think that this is for is for um, Velcroing this flap open. That way you can easily slide your hand down and get into that pocket and you don't have to keep on and velcroing it. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think about these True Work uh, pants. Uh, they they are um, a real game changer here on the homestead. I mean, just imagine the money that's loaded up in these uh, poor quality. Now one pair. Uh, set me back $79 and they were having a deal where if you buy two you get 30% off so it was like $79 and $59 uh, but if that initial investment and, and I've, I've seen videos on YouTube where uh, a couple years old and the stuff still looks really new now it might get stained or whatever but as far as the material it uh, doesn't degrade and um, so they have uh, different varieties. So the T1 is for climates like Arizona where it's hotter and you need it a little bit uh, lighter. This is a T2, um, which works for like ideal temperatures of 40 to 60. Now, if I want to wear these during the winter time, I can just throw on some long johns underneath this and that will, uh, that should work pretty well. Um, but yeah, uh, I put them in the dryer on low heat and uh, took no time for them to dry. So this is great for camping and for all around uh, farm work on the, on the homestead. Um, so they have various colors. Uh, make sure to check out the link down below in the description and that will take you to these pants that I purchased. Um, and if uh, True Work is watching this video, um, send me an email, brad at farmerbrad.com, and uh, let me know if uh, you have any uh, promo discount I could uh, give my viewers. And if I'm able to work out a deal, then I'll put the promo code down in the description of this video. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you have tried True Work uh, clothing brand before and what your thoughts are. They do have jackets and shorts and, and various other items, um, but this was uh, really a need that I needed to solve um, because I was kind of panicked. I had ripped my last pair of jeans and was wearing shorts for the week as uh, temperatures are getting colder. And uh, so I was so eager to try these on that I had my wife drop them off at my work, uh, even though I was like two hours away from uh, my day at work ending, I was just so excited to try them and I was just blown away. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, the main issue that I have uh, with jeans are the lack of flexibility in the crotch region. Um, being able to do that four-way flex is a vital uh, key and then durability. Uh, this, uh, let me see if there's any other uh, information. Um, oh, and they have some uh, clever uh, tags that says, uh, the future is in your hands. Remove this tag, get dressed, and remain humble. And then there's a clever tag in the back that says, hell bent on keeping you safe, comfortable, and looking sharp. We build performance workwear for the kind of detailed people who read the backside of our tags. Um, so I, um, I really uh, back this company and, and want to support it. So that's why I'm uh, getting this information out to you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video from Farmer Brad and make sure to like it, share it with your friends. Uh, this also could work as a great um, Christmas idea uh, coming up. Um, and 
If I share some Amazon links in the description, uh, just assume that they are affiliate links. It gives, it's a free way for you to be able to support my channel uh, through your Amazon purchases. Uh, so thanks and have a wonderful day. And until next time, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as we're trying to grow it and uh, get monetized uh, so that then we can refunnel that money back into the channel to make more content for you. So uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.